So if you don't know Ricardo Sanchez, he is a, a guitar maker out in Nashville, uh, some other small town specifically, but he's out in Tennessee and his builds are really, really affordable. Um, I would say they're competitive with any entry-level American Fender that you'd look to buy. But the cool thing is that everything he does is made by hand. So um, I've got my Ricardo Standard T. I uh, got it in a few days ago. The frets are beautifully crowned. Um, and this has the Master Grade Maple on it as well uh, with the ebony fingerboard of regular nickel frets um, and his signature there. Um, the cool thing, it's got some small details on it that I liked one of which was the knobs. So it's got a really cool signature thing on it. And um, he's using the Goto Intune bridge. And these have uh, tens with Diodario strings on them. And the cool thing I liked about this, he didn't tell me about it till I got it, was the foil in the bridge. It kind of reminds me of the, the Elliott foil pickups, but I think it really adds a nice touch to the look of the guitar um, and the cool little offset thing they just got going on here. Um, the only thing, and this is probably a fluke, but I think it's also part of the charm of having a handmade guitar, is um, the first fret here, um, there's a crown mark from the tool that he used. Um, we're working on rectifying, trying to figure out what, what the fix is for that, but he said uh, sanding it would fix it um, and offered a partial refund on part of my order, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so this guitar has been really nice. I think it tends to be a little bit on the heavier side of what I would prefer. Um, I think it's probably around seven and a half. Um, I haven't actually weighed it, so don't quote me on that. Um, but the guitar plays really well. It came a little high for me, but, um, I lowered it a good bit and I'm kind of the guy that likes it almost at the point where it's almost borderline fretting out so you can hear... But other than that, the, I think the guitar is great. Um, the build quality is awesome. Like, there's really nothing I have to complain about. Everything feels really solid on this. Um, the only thing I would say is if you're looking to buy it, this is the only thing I would say. Um, at the time when I when this was purchased, um, the guitar was supposed to be done within four to six months. Um, and Ricardo, I know, is insanely busy, but his communication was just really hard. Um, it's just, it's non-existent almost. Um, I had to message him through email several times and then Facebook and Instagram, uh, to get even a response at all. And so, um, it wasn't communicated that the guitar was going to be delayed, um, by four additional months. So I got it at month 10, um, which was a few days ago. Um, so that for me, the main thing was just communication. Um, and I, I hope by the time this video is out that part of that is at least addressed, um, you know, I'm, I understand there's a conversation of like, oh, well, you know, he has to hire someone to do that. It's more, uh, it's more costly for him to do that. And I'm like, dude, I, I would personally would rather pay a little more knowing that I could actually get a hold of the, the loser or, or know that, Hey, my stuff's gonna be delayed. Like, I don't mind if stuff's delayed. I just need communication. Um, and to not hear from him, you know, for weeks at a time, sometimes months. And I get it. Like he's a, he's a one guy, one man show for the most part. And I know he's got stuff coming in to make it faster, but, um, you know, just a communication of just like, Hey, I'm still thinking about you. I know the guitar is delayed, you know, I'm working on it. Just wanted you to know, I didn't forget about you. Like all that stuff really goes a long way. Um, and I would say having owned this now, I would consider buying another one. Um, I thought about doing the Mustang one that he makes as well. And, um, they're, they're really, really nice. I mean, I would put this on par with a Sir, um, you know, just their classic series or the Fender Ultra series from what I've heard is also excellent. So I've got here a, a Novo um, Cirrus J. This also came in earlier this week. This is actually my brother's, um, but he wanted me to test it out and just kind of set it up for him as well. But uh, being able to compare these two, it's really interesting. Um, one, how close the Ricardo actually is. Like, I think if this was lighter, like, I'd be very hard pressed to argue that this guitar was worse. I mean, it's not, it's just different. Um, I will say though, I think the maple on Ricardo stuff isn't quite as build quality as, or like high of a, a grade as what Dennis Fano is using. Um, it's hard to tell on this, but this one is it's like, I can see it from like my other room. 
Um, this one's just kind of in the right light, but I think both necks are roasted. They both sound awesome. Um, they both have that kind of matted finish on the back as well. Um, but they're they're both excellent guitars, and I think for twelve hundred bucks, like this is a really hard guitar to beat um, for the money. Like, you know, yeah, you don't get the ability to have as many color options, but I think if you're looking at getting like a even as Jazzmaster, I probably would consider going that way if you could tell them to get like a lighter body. Um, I think for me, this is six pounds. It's super light um, and super resonant. And I think there is a an unspoken quality to um, the, the wood choices of these higher end builders. Like I have a Frank brother sitting here as well. And both this and the Novo um, are equally resonant. Like it's, it's so bizarre. I, I say it's like playing a um a martin om without the volume like the 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 eq of the guitar is so well done um and it just sounds so live and really acoustic um but that's neither here nor there but i think does it compare yeah i'd, I'd say so um especially for the money i mean this was probably a 3500 hundred dollar bill 37 this is 1200 bucks so you know you decide which one's worth it for you so now let's go through um, some of the tones of this. I mean, this has the Lambert Tone Blondies in here. Um, and my room is super noisy. I need to get an electrician out here. I'm not sure what's going on. Or, I don't know. Hey, worship leader, you also have the same issue as I do, so let me know what you figured out. Um, and it's not a grounding issue. I tried. I think it's dirty power somewhere, but I haven't. I'm not super good with electricity, but I know it's not the guitar or my board. I know it's something with my room. Um, and my wife and I bought this house not too long ago, and... I think the electricity is tied to something that it shouldn't be. It's this whole thing. So just if you can see through or hear through the noise, um, yeah. So here's the Ricardo on the neck pick on the neck pickup, and um, it's going through my UAD Ruby. No, getting rid of that. If you want it, hit me up. Um, going through the UAD Dream 65 with the green back into a wet reverb, um, and using the HX Stomp just as the interface at this point. So here's the neck pickup. is really resonant too it kind of has that like what i want out of a telly um as far as like the response and the way it feels and the way it bounces back like kind of has that spanky <laughs> Overdriven. Um, this again, I'm really sorry about the noise. This is a Benson preamp clone that I, I got on reverb from a guy named uh, by the name of Sound Justice Effects. Um, it sounds really great, um, and it's everything's kind of running at noon right now. So. <laughs>
here's the uh, Lauren Audio Mustang running pretty hot. Um, <laughs> So I think the guitar sounds really, really killer. I'm really happy with it. And I think, um, you know, it competes with the Frank Brothers, the Novo. Um, I've got an LSL Satikoi um, on the rack as well. And I think this guitar, I would say, if you can, if you can handle, um, let's just say things don't change, if you can handle the lack of communication from him, it's worth the wait. Hope this video helps in your purchases and, um, you know, for whatever it is for affordable worship guitars, I think this is a phenomenal one to start with. And um, yeah, so anyway, leave a comment below. Love to hear from you and, and see what you think of the guitar and hear your thoughts on it. And Ricardo, I would love to hop on a phone call or like do some video chat and just kind of get to know about your brand a little more because I think being a one-man show, it's, it's hard. Um, and I think your story is one that's worth telling. And I think it's one that, um, you know, maybe the community can do something to help out with mitigating that issue for you. So anyway, hope that works and hope that it, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and, um, let me know what you'd like to see. And, um, I've got tons of other videos coming out soon as well with this. So let me know.